everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and today we're going to do another requested video for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and that was running Geekbench. And so the person asked if I'd be able to do a test with optimized and also actually high performance. And what they were speaking of is underneath the performance mode. The only thing with high performance here is that with inside performance mode, it's actually speaking and referring mostly to the display, not really talking a lot about the CPU. So what I will do today is run it in optimized. I'm going to give you guys a score for the single and multi-core. We'll also even put it inside of game only because inside of game launcher, which we'll be turning on, there is a setting for game booster. So we'll see if that actually does a small little increase or decrease with the CPU as well. And again, I'll put the numbers down for single and multi-core. And then the very last one I'm gonna do is the mid power saving, and I'll show you guys why. So when you go inside of power saving, you press and hold, you can see if you go underneath mid, it'll change the brightness screen resolution, but here it is right here, folks speed limiter of CPU speed will be turned on. If you go to customize, it'll mention it'll go down to 70%. And so we'll see if that is correct versus the optimize. So first off, what we'll do is we will run Geekbench. Right now this thing is, <laughs> I opened up the uh, Play Store. Let's go inside of Geekbench. And right now this is actually underneath optimized. And let's just go to run CPU benchmark. And just as a heads up, what I will do is actually pause the video here because this right here is a process that takes about one to two minutes and I don't want to bore you. So this is almost done running. It is just now reaching 100%. And here are the scores. Underneath optimized, we will have 21, 39. Multi will be 67, 93. So if you look at and compare to the other devices out there, you'll see that it got quite a bit higher for single core versus you know, the Galaxy S7. And here's even the Note 7 right here too. Um, and then you got the multi-core that just kind of <laughs> went quite a bit quicker versus some of these other ones out there. I mean, these are some you know, 38, 37, 37, got some uh, 40s, 52s, 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 and 67. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna head out of here I'm actually going to close out of every single thing that was pretty much running. Um, I'm going to let it cool down for just a second. And then what we'll do is we'll actually go and put it inside of game mode. So I'm going to head over into here, go inside my device maintenance. I'm going to close pretty much anything and everything that was going on. I'm going to give this a second. And now we'll actually go into game. So I'll let it cool down for about a minute. We're going to pull down the notifications panel. We'll head over into the performance mode, so then we'd be able to place it right over into game. And the only reason why I wanted to do it is because it has the game launcher. And inside of game launcher, there is a little bit of a uh, speed boost. And I was wondering if that would actually kind of relay over into the CPU. So you can see on the very top left hand side, you can see that's actually set up into a performance mode. If I do open up this game launcher, you can see right here, boost performance. Uh, I can't change it because that is actually the way it is already turned on and it's locked into place because of the performance mode. So now what we'll do, head over back into Geekbench and I'll run the CPU benchmark one more time. And again, like last time, I'll give this thing a pause and then we'll see what it does inside of game mode. The CPU test for game mode is actually just now finishing up. And here we are with the scores. So you can see for the single, it went down just slightly to 21, 28. And then for the multi-core score, you're gonna have the 68, 25. So that right there kind of makes sense to me, guys. When you put this thing into game mode, obviously it has to increase something for your game boostage, <laughs> if that's a word. So that is where that little change right there comes into play. Um, it's always fun looking at some of the stuff in here, you know, checking out. You know exactly how fast it's able to do speak rec speech recognition you know which is 16.1 words per second on the single core um, memory copy will be like 6.82 gigabytes per second memory latency is 145.3 nanoseconds um, and then when you look down at the multi-core you know, some of those exact same things you got the speech recognition which would be 42.6 words per second uh, you also have the memory copy 9.79 gigabytes per second memory latency is 138.8 nanoseconds so that's extremely fun let's check out some of you know how we kind of stack up which was a little bit just like from before with the exact same numbers with single core and multi-core so you can just see how well it's doing 
um, versus the rest of the competition. So what I'm gonna do again, head out of here. I'm gonna make sure I close out of anything and everything. I'm gonna switch this thing back over into optimized. And then now what we'll do is we will switch it over into the mid power saving mode. Um, and as long as everything kind of you know, goes in the exact same speed of what we're trying to do here, underneath mid with that speed limiter CPU change, we should be able to see a smaller number. So uh, what, 70% of this, maybe 80% of this uh, is gonna be somewhere around like 57, uh, 5,800 points for multi-core. Single core, I don't really see it changing a ton. Um, so what we'll do, this thing is now in the mid for power saving. You can see a little power saving icon on the top. What I'm gonna do again is wait about one minute, give it its small rest, and we will test that. So I gave her a good minute. Now let's go over and test the mid power saving mode inside of Geekbench, running the CPU benchmark. And here we go, here comes another pause. So the Geekbench is finishing up for the mid power saving. And there we go guys. Looks like for the single core, we're sitting at 1910, which definitely makes sense. It goes down by a little bit, a little bit more than I expected actually for the single core. And then for the multi-core, it's actually sitting somewhere pretty close to what I thought, 5684. Um, 5684, that's actually running, I'm actually doing some calculations right over here on my other uh, phone over here. So if, when I took the 6793, um, and I took that, it, I put it in at 83%, which actually gives us this number right here. So instead of 70%, it's limiting it down over to 83%, which is pretty nice. So that is how you'd be able to save a little bit of your battery is by you know kind of bringing these two down for the single and the multi-core. So this right over here, guys, is the finished product of this test. So tested the CPU with Geekbench 4 underneath optimized game and also the mid power saving. Looks as if for the single core, got the 2139. And you know what? Let's actually go right on back. I do want to look at how is our phone <laughs> stack up uh, versus other phones when we put it in mid power saving, which is at, you know running at 83%. That's putting us right close to some of these other devices here. And then even for multi-core, we're, uh, we're still above what the Note 7 and what the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge was, you know, and way higher than some of these other devices down here as well too. So even with running at 83%, we are actually still a little bit more powerful than some of those other devices out there in terms of when I say we, uh, this Galaxy S8 Plus that we just tested. So I hope this has uh, definitely filled your guys' guns here with, uh, you know, geeking out here. So hopefully these are the numbers you guys are expecting. This is actually pretty much exactly what we would be expecting with running the CPU. So if you guys like this video, make sure you go below the video, hit on that like button there, please, for me. Right over here, if you have not subscribed just yet, hit on that little button there. It will subscribe you to my channel. And then right over here, we have a couple different videos that we'll be putting up here to where you'll be able to check out the next video. And then you also have the playlist of the Samsung Galaxy S8. And I'll see you guys later.